we're gonna bring back the uh, Flight Sim Builder Hub. And instead of PFD, I'm gonna go and select native piston single. So look at here, it's changed. Right, so uh, the piston single, this is what you would fly uh, like Cessna 172. Uh, we have our uh, GPS navigation uh, there as well. So everything is working, you know, I still have my heading bug. I can change it here. Airspeed, we climb into 5000. Oh, looks pretty good, right? All right, but this is again, this is more uh, Tesla 172. We fly in pretty high performance planes. So you see like <laughs> Tesla cannot even climb this. Uh, uh, so it's kind of maxed out. So we're gonna bring back the, uh, the launcher. And instead of piston single, we're gonna switch it to uh, high performance gauges. Look at this. So it changed, right? So now you have a very different setup. Now you have my vertical speed, which is at 1,700, and you still have a way to go. You have this beautiful um, engine monitor, which is really nice. All right, so now you can see it's intercepting our glide path. Uh, at 5,000, it's gonna stop the climb, and here we have our GPS, right? But now you have to set the course yourself. The cool thing, you still have your uh, MFD on the right, so I can go to flight uh, plan, for example, and I can look where you're going. Uh, so this is pretty, pretty great. I don't have a, I know I do have 148, so here I can set my 148 course. So now you can see we are on course, right? And um, I can go, so we at 5,000, uh, we flying into those clouds, so I can actually go to procedure, select approach, and let's say we want to fly runway 28 right. We'll start from Bakel. We'll activate. And now it's turning to Bakel, right? Beautiful. Now you also see the flight path. Everything else is working pretty well. We look at the uh, PFD, MFD. So now what I want to do, I want to change my MFD uh, to GTN 750. Here the TDS software, and I'm gonna bring the GTN 750. So now I have my 750, and in the launcher I'm gonna keep this at the, uh, with this uh, steam gauges set up. But here I'm gonna. So if I don't switch it now, I have everything as working, right? But my buttons don't work. Direct to nothing, right? So, but if I go to the launcher and I switch it to third-party GTN 750. Now my buttons actually work. So I can uh, go to traffic, zoom in, zoom out. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I have my direct to working as well. Um, so very nice, right? All right, so uh, one thing I found out, uh, if you use MFD first and you put a flight plan and then you start the GTN 750, it doesn't work really well because it basically sends two kind of signals to the steam gauges, one from MFD and another from the G GTN. So this was kind of like shaking. So what I had to do is restart the flight and just use the GTN. So this way, um, so this way we only get in signal from um, from GTN 750. All right, very good. So a uh, couple of things I wanted to do now. Um, one, we have the GTN 750, which is really super nice. It's a touch screen. I have my different uh, airspace here. I have a messages. Um, so let's make sure we are in altitude mode. Um, so now let's actually put the flight plan, right? So. Um, I'm gonna go to flight plan. I'm gonna remove this. And I'm gonna put, uh, let's just put first the same thing we did, CRQ to Montgomery. And uh, 
now so I can go to the map and see okay so we are here so let's turn to intercept it so now I, I see also here my GPS navigation right so um, we are deviated we right of course so which is really good uh, but I can actually do this direct activate so look at here once I press it it's centered right and here we actually go on uh, as well we inside of um, San Diego Bravo okay so now I'm gonna go go back to the flight plan click on the Montgomery and I'm gonna select uh, procedure approach let's do RNF and for the transition we're gonna do bakel and we can actually load and activate what it's gonna do it's gonna put the next waypoint to be bakel so now we're going to bakel right so and uh, you can uh, see we are of course so we're gonna go to nav mode and this will basically turn us to to bakel right uh, so the beautiful thing about uh, uh, 750 so it gives you the course 102 so we can set it here uh, it gives you the altitude to be at uh, 5,900. So we're just gonna stay here. It gives you the step downs, right? 4,200 for me being nasty. Uh, there are so, so many things you can do with it, but we are at the cruise level. So let's put 22, 24, 